ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kello Hag, and that was Rhythmic Inferno. Preliminary name for that song because I don't really like that. But that was <laughs> Rhythm, Rhythmic Inferno. That was a song. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's skip back to it and we'll pause it and click on it. And we're going to actually, I'm going to go back to my, because I don't, oh, I know what I could do. I could do desktop and then I can transition. Oops, I can come back to me. <laughs> transition when I'm actually on the actual song. There we go. Now, as you can see, this is Rhythmic Inferno. This is actually on Udio right now. Um, I'm probably going to publish it uh, at the end of this video right now because I want to show you how to do everything. And uh, I will publish one that I've already worked on and that I've really like honed in on. All right. So do you know how to write a song? That is the kind of thing that we're going to uh, really be exploring, okay, is do you know how to write a song? As a writer, as a person who writes things, right, we have to figure out what, <laughs> I miss Swift, how you doing? We have to figure out how to sometimes relay. All right, so say you are wanting to write something much more difficult in this world. Not a novel, right? But maybe a, um, a musical theater piece or a play. And you would like to have music that sets the tone for the play, I'm pretty sure you could use this inside of a play and create atmospheric music through the entire piece that is specific to the play. Uh, you could create a actual musical, an actual musical. That would mean writing out everything. This is all things that work for people who are actually writing, right? Who are trying to be real Writers, they do all kinds of writing. I'll give you an example. There's this guy named um, uh, Brian Yorkey. You can look him up. Um, he's done some television shows. He's written some television shows. But he started out writing musicals. The big one uh, that he did, um, what, what, what was the big one that Brian Yorkey did? Um, there was one... Um, uh, it was about depression and suicide, and everybody loved it. It's a absolute perfect fodder for, you know, the the world of uh, New York City. They love, love angst and awfulness. <laughs> they love it in their theater. I know because I used to audition for a lot of their theater there. Uh, I spent an entire month and a half auditioning in, I guess, 2014, 2016, something like that. Let me see here. Hold on. All right. Now I've put my welcome everyone in there. I'm pretty good to go. Let me put this go over here. There we go. I've clicked out of that. I didn't want to actually add anything else. All right. So that's what we're doing today is we are creating songs i'm gonna play a couple three songs for you that i've done um myself okay and then uh we're going to start doing a little bit of comparisons between uh what pseudo right uh su pseudo suno um and udio do they they both do good, but uh, Udio has stereo, so some things are happening in your right ear that aren't happening in your left ear. Um, Suno does not. Uh, there's more clarity to the voices and the songs, so there isn't this 
background fuzziness from the diffusion of the music. It sometimes has a lot of noise in there. Um, and, and Udio does not have those sorts of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip back. Okay, and we're going to take a quick peek at my creations. And we're going to hit the liked ones. And as you can see, I've uh, been at work on some stuff. Uh, I did uh, a song um, kind of based around my big old butt song from, uh, let me see here, where is it? Blues for My Baby's Backside, which is on right here. Oh, by the way, Suno has a couple of new things going on. First thing they've got going on is they've got a volume. Oh, my God. It's so happy. I'm so happy. They've got a volume. Volume, volume. My gosh. Come on now. That took so long. And also, if you take a quick peek here, they've got a new explore section where you can explore a whole bunch of different genres and stuff like that. It's very interesting. So what I'm thinking is that these two things are going to work very well in conjunction with each other because I can look up liquid drum bass uh, rockabilly, click on it. And then keep checking the different ones. They'll give you five different examples. This is liquid drum and bass rockabilly. How about accordion Hawaiian? Underneath the Hawaiian sun. Where the water's blue and fun Grabbing boards and hits Speeding of love and units Okay Oh, there's a light One's Waikiki Beach a beaming sign, graceful palm sway gently. <laughs> All drape the lay of hollow round your shoulders, dance the hula beat. Okay, and then there is this one right here that I caught my eye a, a Korean Americana. Look at the. Look at this. Do you hear this? And so on and so forth. So that's a very new, very cool, very interesting way to kind of tool around uh, Sano and figure out what you like. But let's go back to my library, hit my liked button stuff, go back to page two. And if I'm not mistaken, is page two where I have backside? Okay. Here it is. Now this is uh, my baby's backside. Uh, blues for my baby's backside by me kind of working with the AI I said my baby got a backside like a Cadillac but when she walked down the street all the men go mad from her head to her toes she's a sight to see but it's that big old butt that hold on me she put the dog in the hall it's on that's for sure every time she's shaking man my heart gets a 
for my baby's backside and I took the same lyrics okay I took the exact same lyrics and oops I should hit my light stuff here there we go and uh, I made uh, what I like to call well I don't like to call it likes to call Delta Curves which uses a lot of the same looks uses the same lyrics but instead of having the two verses in a row I put the chorus in between. There's some limitations. So what ends up happening with Udio is that there is this weird limitation. If you put too many verses in there, it will speed the song up in order to fit all of your verses. So if you put three verses in there all at once, or uh, two verses in a chorus, it's gonna hit a song that's gonna be in a beat a minute, uh, beats per minute fast enough in order, I, and I, it took me three days to figure out why it was doing this, but I finally figured it out. It's because it wants to adhere to whatever you're putting inside of Udio. If you put in a lot of words, it will try and put all of those words in there. I'll give you a couple examples. Okay, so here, let's go Delta Curves. And uh, this is a three minutes and 17 second song. I probably won't play the whole thing, but... As you remember, that was, this was uh, the song over here, Blues for My Baby's Backside. is five minutes and one uh, second long, and I pretty much fit the whole song in the space over here for uh, Delta Curves, which is a raucous sort of blues song with a driving uh, guitars and everything. So let's say, like, here is, remember, here's blues for backside. I said my baby got a backside like a Cadillac. Now, I, what, the way Udio creates a song, it creates the hook. Whatever you decide you want to be the lyrics, it will put them right there in the center. And then you can decide to build around that core of the song in order to figure out whether or not you want to use that song. I, I'm able to go through a lot of iterations and make strong decisions on whether or not to use that song. All right, so let's see here. Here is Delta Curves. I, uh, you know what? I'm gonna move over here to Delta Curves single and then we'll play it from here so that you can see it. That butt, that butt, that big old butt. That butt, that butt, that big old butt. That butt, that butt, that big old butt. this solo in the beginning but it put it in there for as a filler to get to the first verse. I said my baby got a backside like a Cadillac when she walked down the street all the men go mad from her head to her toes she's a sight to see but it's that big old butt that got a hold on me she got a big old butt I love it. It's like a Mississippi Delta. I can't get enough of it. While she plays that guitar, the music starts to flow. Her sweet melodies make my heart feel low. She put the dog in a honky tonk. That's for sure. Every time she shake it, man, my heart is a flow. Her hips swing like a pendulum in perfect time. And when she strum that guitar, it's like a sweet rhyme. She got a big old butt. And I love it. It's like a the Mississippi Delta. <laughs> did, oh, did it? Did it crash on me? What the? 
Where did it go? <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, why did it do that? Where did it go? What? That was weird, y'all. It was like the thing crashed or something on me. Okay, um, enough of that. Let's see. Uh... She put the dog in a honky tonk. That's for sure. Every time she shake it, man, my heart hits the flow. Her hips swing like a pendulum in perfect time. Uh -huh. And when she strum that guitar, it's like a sweet rhyme. She got a big old butt, and I love it. It's like a Mississippi depth. I can't get enough of it. While she plays that guitar, the music starts to flow. A sweet I love that little, just little subtlety. When she plays that guitar, it starts to flow. Now, see, one of the things that I really enjoy about this whole idea is because I am a performer. I am a singer. I do these things for a living. I actually make money when people have me come and sing at things and the whole nine yards. And I had a band for years called 111 BPM. And I would love to get a couple of the guys back together and really kind of work on some of these songs and make them my own because there's a couple of lines that I would change and a couple of things I would tweak. But what a great demo song so that these guys can like start working on it early. Oh, my gosh. And that's the way we worked. That's the exact way we worked. It was one of those things where we would literally just get together, have listened to all of the songs ahead of time. Everybody work on their part ahead of time. And then you sit down and you start mulling through how we're going to do the beginning, how we're going to like all of these things that are specifically to us. Now I can create a bunch of songs that aren't cover songs that are fully fleshed out, actually like sentient little nuggets of creation that really actually can make us have gigs and more live performing may be able to happen because now people can use this tool in order to help them with uh, their classic writer's block in the whole nine yards. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She's made an appearance. Her name is Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Gracie. All right. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, so how you doing, Miss Swift? You know what? Let me check in on my actual broadcast here to make sure that there's nothing hokey going on. I'm pretty sure that Miss Swift would have told me about it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yep, only doing music today, so it's just going to be me and you, Miss Swift. <laughs> I see it's like only one person here, and that is you. And so I guess I get to just talk to you and all of the other people who end up watching this afterwards. <laughs> but uh, we are, that's all we're doing today is really digging deep into uh, these uh, <sighs> creations of music. I have never felt more like I was really writing music. I used to write music and try to create songs and the whole nine yards. And I used all the tools that I had at my expo uh, disposal, including Cubase, where I would create uh, actual, I would use the chord tracks because I don't have a uh, complete uh, theory uh, in my background. So I don't play keyboard. I play some guitar. I am just mostly a singer, but I do have a creative bone in my body. I do like to uh, fiddle around with lyrics, help uh, have AI help me write even better lyrics and that sort of thing. So most of the things that you're hearing are three quarters me and about a quarter AI, meaning that I, I come up with the concept, the original concept, I uh, decide on which way we're going with the song. I'll give you another example. So say we are back in uh, and we're going to listen to a couple of my songs that I was trying to work out for Kauai. Um, it's a little mini doc thing that I'm working on that I shot a bunch of footage in Kauai and 
me and my wife went there and uh, I filmed it and it was it, it's like a movie so I've got three sections to it it's about 30 minutes long so far and now um, I'm the next section that I want to build the next section that I want to uh, I want it to be all original music maybe even some with like beautiful like lyrics and and haunting like melodies in the background reoccurring themes that would be really really cool but i don't think we're quite there yet with this program all right so i want to i want to empower people to do all kinds of things i want you to be able to write your first novel i want you to be able to write your first screenplay I want you to be able to write your first comic book. I want you to be able to write your first musical. I want you to be able to write your first everything. Your first movie, your first television show, your first mini series, your first anime, your first animated short. I want you to be able to write, build, create anything you want. And that's why I named this the Future Fiction Factory and not the Future Writing Factory. <laughs> Because the all of these things help you completely transform who you are as an artist. You can take all of these little threads of who you are and you can take them and pull them in and create a beautiful moment. Something exciting, something romantic, something sad, something infuriating, something passionate. So let's listen to Echoes of Kauai. Kauai, 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 you are her home. Kauai, 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 Kauai. So divine when worries go goodbye. The ukulele strums a melody so sweet. In the arms of Kauai, my heart finds its beat. Ooh. Now, uh, this is a good example of a song that we could continue this song right now. If we wanted to, we could continue this song, but we're not going to um, right this second. I think we're going to spin up a couple of things and create our own song, uh, a new song today. Um, maybe we'll base it off of a Suno song. That's why I've got the uh, double, uh, I've got a double uh, screen right here, as you can see blues for my baby's backside and this so we can actually take something that we built in Suno so we'll go back to the library and all the light stuff and we'll find something uh, like blues for my baby's backside which I built in both places but to me is extremely much more dynamic in side of Udio so here this is uh, Blues from My Baby's Backside. Uh, oh, there we go. Now that's the beginning of that one. And here's the beginning of this one. 
That butt, that butt, that big old butt. That butt, that butt. Completely different types of blues, but very, very effective. As a matter of fact, I believe the blues on uh, Blues from My Baby's Backside is a Chicago form of blues as opposed to this one down here, which is a little Delta-y sort of um, New Orleans sort of leaning thing uh, where the Delta Curves one is. So let's listen to a couple other liked songs that I created. How about Eternal Dance Floor? In the heart of the city where the lights are ablaze, there's a place that's alive with the sound of the days. It's a rhythmic carnival spinning around where the music keeps playing, never touching the ground. Now we're going to, uh, that's when the party dies. That was eternal dance floor. Now we're going to, this is what's going to get, this is what's going to get you. Uh, it's the same words, same words, but very, very, very different sort of song. Oh my gosh, right? I was like, I was like, are you kidding me? Cause as the the fidelity, the how it sounds is so slick. Oh, uh non tuman <laughs> Good morning, Zona. Good morning, Miss Swift. Oh, I mean um uh, uh Maria. Hi Maria Guadalupe Rizzo. How are you? Nice to see you. All right. And um, let's see. Uh, so let's uh, let's listen to a couple other things. Why don't we? Um, that's when a party dies. Uh, that was Dance Till Dawn. And uh, let's listen to... The next one, Rhythmic Inferno. Nope, we heard that one. And Dance Canvas. That was me also working on the same thing. And me working on the same one. And me working on the same one. Light up. Yep. And up oh, here, Havana Rhythms. I haven't. I've only done 30 seconds of it, but... <laughs> Uh, Havana Rhythms. So we've got ourselves tons and tons of. Oh, I've got a little cat trying to get out, and she's going to want to come back in in a second, too. I must service the queen. That is Gracie. Okay, so so that's where we are right now. We are at the point where a person, and now Udio is free. If you would like Udio, you can go to Udio.com, not Udio.ai, Udio.com. That's U-D-I-O uh, dot com. 
and uh, sign up for free right now. You'll be able to get in right now, and they are having server problems and the whole nine yards. But let's try a couple of experiments. Actually, you know what? Let's start with, uh, since we have both Miss Swift and Zona in the uh, house, let's create some Zona and Swift uh, uh, songs. Um, let's go, um, let's see, let's think about this. Uh, a beautiful, haunting folk song about Zona Rose. The Beauty from Arizona. And we're going to do an auto create. We're going to uh, see what it comes up with. We're going to add some folk. And uh, when you hit folk, you kind of get other things like folk rock, folk indie. And it gives you much more specific things to hone in on. Traditional folk, blues. How about um, acoustic guitar? And... Um, Stop listening there for a second. Acoustic guitar and um, um, Americana. We'll go Americana and uh, see what we get. All right. And it's doing, it's actually creating those songs right now. My creations, all of them, if you look all of here. It says, due to heavy uh, generations, uh, generations are much slower than usual. We're working hard to improve. All right, so now that I've got it on all, let's look at some of my other ones that, let me see here. There's a reason why I put a uh, happy thing on a, you know, a, uh, a favorite because, once you, you will lose these songs once you get into iterations and generations and generations and iterations. So let's listen to some of my failures. Not really failures, but just some of the stuff that I started out with. Ah, cool cats in lab coats. Dig the scene now. Einstein's dream, baby, it's getting real tight. Without I wanted a 60s espionage song about a scientist who has invented faster than light travel. And these are some of the things that it's given me. All right, let's go. Let's, let's just play from here. Kind of gave up on the 60s thing at some point. Every mind blows at the FCL, All right, on to the next up. one. This one kind of sounds like a 1980s song, not a 70s or 60s. She's the best mind there. With her FDL engines beam. <laughs> that sounded like weird science. <laughs> Come on, first spark. Then light the fuse tonight. Then your mind begins to zoom. And before you know it, you're blasting. Take your rule book, throw it to the moon. Come on, y'all. What we need is just to push these thrusts enough. This one's had time on my side. This one's ridiculous. Now I've 
across the light speed line. Speed thrills. <laughs> Might have fear, but I soar. Quantum leaps out of you. I don't raise time much at all. No more. All right, and these were the first four of my don't Delta, my uh, big no butt uh, Delta sort of. These were the things that I wanted to work with. Like a Cadillac. Woo! When she walked down the street on a men go mad. From her head to her toe, she's a sight to see. But it's that big old butt that got a hold on me. She got a big old butt, and I love it. It's like a Mississippi Delta. I can't get enough of it. While she plays that guitar, the music starts to flow. Her sweet melodies make my heart feel low. All right, so all completely different but all within the genre the the milieu of what i really wanted all i had to do was take those lyrics that are my lyrics that i came up with that i thought of uh, the concept and then had something work on maybe some different iterations and then i came up with each one of those lines and and kept those lines and then took them into the program and created those things from there let me see here okay we're doing good on time all right so uh and each one of these are different so i usually will bust out two or three uh two different iterations of something in order to get it to like mold around the song like i want it to i've got a concept Something with the boom, boom, the dee dee 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 dee, but man, I love it. You know, uh, what is the what's the words here? I said my baby got a backside like a Cadillac. When she walks down the street, all the men go mad. With her head, from her head to her toes, she's got a sight to see. With a big old butt, she got a hold on me. She's got a big old butt, and I love it. It's like a Mississippi Delta, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> While she plays the guitar, the music starts to flow. With her sweet melodies that make my heart feel low. And you have this real inherent kind of idea of how to sing the song now now that you've had all of these iterations of the song how you want the song to actually work it becomes an empowering thing where you're really actually creating songs you're really doing it not you're using AI to make dong dong that's not how that works this is not how it works as a matter of fact there are some tricks that a lot of people who aren't very creative have been doing repeating the same word or thing over and over and over again like uh capybara we could make a uh a folk song about capybara or something like that let's get back to the iterations first cactus flower rain and whispers of zona rose so these are just a couple of like in the middle of the song tracks so that we can see whether or not we even like those. And then if we don't, we'll try some other ones. In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose. her beauty blooms neath Elder's 
Arizona skies Desert queen Heart she roamed Once the canyons Leaves the pines Morning sun Days begun Cactus flower In her prime Alright, now here's the next one Is the desert sun still gleaming On the canyon she roamed free To the cacti sagebrush we call her name like me are the sunsets just as vivid where the sky and mountains bring and by the way did she mention my name did she speak of me with a longing and when the starlight touched the plains yeah that was in the middle of so, all right so we're gonna maybe take this one um, zona which one do you like better uh which one do you like better the first one or the second one yeah the cabana was nice wasn't it i don't know i i think that the the there's something the the algorithms that work in Suno and the algorithms that work inside of Udio are completely different. Completely different. So, all right, the first one. Thank you, hun. Appreciate that. All right, we're going to go back and we're going to create a song. Cactus, Cactus Flower Rain. The one. Let's take a quick peek at it. Listen to it. In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose, her beauty blooms neath Arizona skies. Desert queen, heart she roamed once the canyons, leaves the pines. Morning sun, days begun. Cactus flower in her prime. Okay, so how do we meet, make this bigger? This is one of the biggest problems that I had with Suno. You can only go forward. You can't go backwards. You can't add a thing in the beginning. You can't do any of that stuff. You can only go forward. So it tries its best to create a uh, Sano create uh, tries its best to create a beginning to the song at the beginning. I'll give you an example. Here is Gotta Love That Shake. Uh, she's got a big, big booty and a smile too. Or Swing It Baby. She's got a groove that swings and it's also. You notice every one of these starts out with like it trying to start the song she's got the swing in her step a twinkle in her eye when she walks down the street heads turn as she goes by oh, yeah. she's got that rhythm in her hips a melody in her sway she's my moving gal she brightens up my day so it was all the song that i was working on was me trying to figure out to write a song about a big booty mama whether it be on a beach or something like that and how it, it would just be about it, it's just a fun song you know that you write and that was my concept it was just a nugget of a concept and so i started iterating on this but the real point of this is that you notice every single one of these songs has a start to it in the studio feeling the groove recording every note every move the rhythm smooth the beats are tight, gonna lay it down, gonna do it right. With my soul on tape, I feel my life. Now that's Sunno, okay? So it starts everyone. Listen. Oh, baby, let's now, let's take a look and see what happens when you start a song with Udio. Already in the middle of the song. Let's go to the next one. Already in the middle of the song. Already in the middle of the song. Oh, actually, that was me. 
beginning a song, like uh, going back and beginning a song. So how do we make this cactus flower into something? So let's go here. In Dona Rose, sweet rose, her beauty blooms beneath Arizona skies. Desert and we're queen, going to heart she rolls at an intro. We're going to auto generate. Morning sun and we're going all and that's it. Cactus flower and we're going to extend. And now it's working on the extension the of those two. On the canyon and table. now that those are done, let's start working on something for Miss Swift. Hey, Miss Swift. I didn't realize I was doing that. Hey, Miss Swift. So let's, uh, um, uh, what do we usually, uh, is it, uh, what is your, what's the full name you like to use? I'm biased, partial folk rock sound. Uh, you want a folk rock sound? I thought you were going to go for uh, uh, prog rock or something, Miss Swift. I was going to make you a prog rock song. I hadn't made one on here yet. So um, what would you, uh, uh, w first, uh, remind me of the name that we use that so that we don't get like snagged by a Taylor Swift thingy. What is the name we use? And then second, um, uh, what song do you want to use? You want to do folk rock? Because if you want to do folk rock, I'm into it. And while you're figuring that out, I'm going to move over here. And we're going to see about those two Zona Roses. And this is the beginning. These are its attempts at beginnings to that uh, Whispers of Zona Rose, which, by the way, it changes the name all the time. So you, it keeps changing the name as it adds on more and more sections. And each one of the changes are each one of the uh, iterations have their own name. So you really have to kind of pay attention to what's going on. Here's the first one. This one's called Wildflower Eyes of Zona Rose. The secret's untold Where the rivers run dry And Zona Rose with her whispering sighs She's the talk of the town With nowhere to hide Like Malcolm on daily life She's born in sun Days begun, cactus flower in her eyes. In Dona Rose, Sweet Rose, her beauty blooms beneath Arizona skies. Desert queen, heart she roamed once the canyons and leaves the pines morning sun days begun cactus flower and see it seamlessly see, uh, seeps into the the second half which is the part you liked so uh, that's the first iteration as a matter of fact let's re let's revisit that one more time the secrets untold where the rivers run dry and zone rose with her whispering sighs she's the talk of the town with nowhere to hide at malcolm on daily life she's born in sun days begun cactus flower in her eyes okay so that was the first one from painted cliffs to valley lows She glides where the wild river flows With eyes that hold the starlit night Whispers tales neath the firelight In her soul the desert song Calls her back where she belongs 
goes into the chorus. In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose. her beauty blooms neath the Arizona sky. All right, so that's the chorus. A zona Rose, a Zona Rose. A Zona Rose, Zona Rose. Is that what that said? In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose. Ah, there, Sweet Rose. I was like, did it screw that up? No, it was me screwing it up. All right, so let's, go, let's listen to it one more time. From painted cliffs to valley lows. She glides where the wild river flows. Mm. You may like those, Zona. I'm going to try and do it one more time. We're going to extend one more. We're going to try it one more time, and then we're going to see if anything in the four of those, because if you give it a two to four... A, if you make it generate two to four songs, iterations, it gives you enough, especially if you have a musical ear, if you're a musician, especially, uh, it becomes way easier because I can just hear the type of song I wanted to create. That was what I was doing with the disco song. That's what I was doing with a lot of these songs over on Suno. Uh, all right, so it says I'm done. We're going to actually click on this because we can actually click up here and it'll take us back to the creation page. And we'll listen to this one. Zona Rose lives free, a spirit untamed. Hair as golden as the endless plains Footsteps light on the dust she thrives A mirage and heat to where the brave survives Through tumbleweeds she drifts and glides A solitary bloom in vast open skies And then here we go In Zona Rose her beauty blooms neath the Arizona sky. Oh my God, that is a beautiful song so far. All right, let's go to the next iteration. I really like that one. This one might be a winner winner chicken dinner. Heartbeat and rhythm with the land that she loves. With every step, she's a part of the dust in Zona Rose. With whispers of sage, <laughs> she softly roams over red rocks. Her spirit soars with the eagle. She glides above the storms. And that, there we are. In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose. her beauty blooms <laughs> neath the all right, let's listen to that one one more time, okay? I don't want you to look at Heart the words. Heartbeat and rhythm with the land that she loves. With every step, she's a part of the dust. In Zona Rose, with whispers of sage, <laughs> she softly That's rolls really good too. over red rocks. Her spirit soars. That's whisper of sage. This is spirit. I think I'm Zona Rose lives free, mm. spirit untamed, with hair as golden as the endless plains. Footsteps light on the dust she thrives, a mirage and heat to where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides. A solitary so bloom the in latest vast open skies. All right. Yeah, but it's the spirit of Zona. In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose. her beauty oh my gosh. blooms. All right, so uh, now that I've... Uh, <laughs> 
Spirit of Zona was nice. So which one do you mean? So do you mean? So yeah, I do like Spirit of Zona. And you also like Whispers of Sage too, right? Yeah, dang nabbit. All right, so I'm going to play them. I'm going to play the beginning of Whispers of Sage. Heartbeat and rhythm with the land that she loves. With every step, she's a part of the dust. In Zona Rose, with whispers so I love of sage, that. she softly roams over red rocks. Wait, wait, let's, 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 let's experience that. My rose. Heartbeat and rhythm with the land that she loves. With every step, she's a part of the dust. In Zona Rose, my rose. With whispers of sage, <laughs> she softly roams over red rocks. Her spirit soars with the eagle. She glides above the storms. And then back into it. In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose. her beauty oh, blooms. Okay, so we're I... On a sky Your time. choice. It's either that was Whispers of Sage or Spirit of Zona. Your choice, Zona. Which one would you like? <laughs> which one? And while we do that, let's look and see what Miss Swift says. Oh, Miss Swift, is she gone? I was going I was trying to get some questions out of you. Ah, she might be gone. Okay, hard to pick, I know. All right, I'm going to give you the first one one more time, Zona. It's the spirit. Zona Rose lives free, the spirit untamed, with hair as golden as the endless plains. Footsteps light on the dust she thrives, a mirage and heat to where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides, a solitary bloom in vast open skies. Yes. I, I think we should. All right. Executive decision. All right, we're going to go with the spirit of Zona. And we're going to... We can always go back if you want, and we can create a, the, the song with the other beginning, with the Whispers of Sage. But just so that you can have, like, because that was a really nice version, I'm going to hit uh, uh, Favorite. But then I'm going to extend Spirit of Zona, and it's going to be bigger and a different song now. I mean, a, a longer song. All right, so we're going to extend Right here where we took that song and we're going to extend it. We're going auto-generated. We've created the intro. We've added a section. Um, no, we created an intro. Now we're going to add another section. Now this would be completely different if you were using lyrics. The way you would use lyrics is you would hit custom right all right so say we added a section right and uh as a matter of fact let's do this i like i like the fact that this is uh, uh in zona rose let me see here let's play this in zona rose, Sweet rose. her beauty blooms neath the zona skies desert queen heart she roamed wants the canyons leaves the pines morning sun days begun cactus flower in her prime you know what let's uh not do our lyrics we're going to auto generate 
and add that section so that it finishes this and then maybe I can cut and paste and use some of the lyrics that it used already as a reiteration of the chorus. Right, let's try that and then we'll extend. Now it's extending Spirit of Zona and here's another advantage over Suno. Suno creates like an entire minute of or two minutes or something like that as the beginning of the song. Rags to Riches, let's play that one. A minute. <laughs> Yep, it does a minute instead of 30 well, seconds. I used to be down and out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, if you don't involve, in Sunno, if you don't involve uh, vocals, it actually has a lot, a very clear sound. And then as soon as you hear them start singing, it gets fuzzy. Um, here's a uh, Cafe Con Sabor. Wha uh, I think that's how you say it. No singing and super clear. But every time you add something like um, singing, she's got the swing in her step, and there's just this little bit of buzz, just a little bit of buzz, which you do not get. With the, now, here we go. Now we are adding on from the one one minute and six second mark. So I'm going to just go straight to the one minute and six second mark or a little before. Midday beams, she shimmers bright, bright and bold. Crafts her life from the desert's might. Ozona rose where the river bends. She found her heart where the wild wind winds. In Zona Rose, Sweet rose. she's the song the canyon sighs. All right, so that's the first one. She lights the mesa, fire in her eyes with every step of tale she scribes and whispers carry across the range and Zona's heart, love unrestrained, silhouettes against red rock walls in her. I don't know. Zona Rose lives free, mm. spirit untamed, with hair as golden as the endless plains. Footsteps light on the dust, she thrives, a mirage and heat to where the brave survives. Tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides. Midday beams, she shimmers bright, bright and bold. Crafts her life from the desert's might. Ozona rose where the river bends. She found her heart where the wild wind winds. In Zona Rose. See, I kind of like in Zona Rose, Sweet Rose, Bling. Um, I think that should be the chorus. Tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides. A solitary bloom in vast open skies. In 
blooms on a rose. rose. Her beauty blooms neath Arizona skies. Desert queen, heart she roamed once the canyons, leaves the pines. Morning sun, days begun, cactus flower in her prime. That's the end of the midday beams. She shimmers bright, bright and bold. Crafts her. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. We're gonna iterate off of uh, Spirit of Zona because that was the one where we decided we wanted to. We're going to extend, but in that extension, we're going to put. this and we're going to brackets are what we use to tell the AI what to do so all bracketed things uh, tells the AI what to do whether to use make it a verse or a chorus a horn section solo I mean a horn section feature a a solo by a guitar, whatever it is, you should put it in brackets. So we're going to put brackets. Remember, you can sign up for Udio right now. Go to udio.com to sign up for the beta, get on the beta, and uh, pre be prepared to wait. This works really well for me because I'm showing people and doing a tutorial and a deep dive into it today. Uh, this this slow pace of their uh, iterations kind of helps me. But if you wanted to, if you really wanted to, you could just do this, go do this yourself, figure out everything yourself. But thank you for being here for the ride. All right, so in, um, in Zona Rose, okay, so we're going to say this is the chorus. And then we're going to bracket that and... Um, and we're going to add a couple of more, a couple more call and responsey things. So when you're in the middle of the lyrics and you put something in, is it parentheses or brackets? I can't quite tell. When you put things in brackets in the, uh, actual lyrics, it will repeat the words. Hearts, uh, desert queen, uh, in Zona Rose, sweet rose, our heart blooms near Arizona sky. Uh, desert queen, hearts she roams, wants the canyons, leaves the pines. Morning suns, days begun, cactus flowers in her prime. And so, and this is almost exactly like when I'm, using my actual keyboard, which is right over here, um, and I'm trying to build things out. I'm sometimes just singing through things over and over again. All right, so now we've got this, and then we're going to go back there, and this will now become the chorus, and hopefully it will reiterate this. Uh, add the section, continue, and now it's building that. And we will see again, let me see, let's go here. Canyo, Canyon Skies had this ending to it. Fly from the deserts, means she shimmers, deserts. Let's see, right there. Midday beams, she shimmers bright, bright and bold. Crafts her life from the desert's might. Oh, Zona Rose, where the river bends. She found her heart where the wild wind winds. In Zona Rose, she's the song the canyon sighs. That's a pretty one. Yeah, that was actually very pretty. One more time. This flower in her prime. Midday beams, she shimmers bright, bright and bold.
crafts her life from the desert's might Holes on a rose where the river bends She found her heart where the wild wind winds In Zona Rose, sweet rose She's the song the canyon sighs That's a pretty... That's a pretty... That's pretty... That is very pretty. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, we are about to... Let's see here. Yep, looks like Miss Swift is... Not here right now. Okay. Um, let's see. That's a, yeah, hard to pick spirit. Like the first one. The first one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. I do too. I like the first one. Hmm. And now let's listen to the new and improved ones with my fiddling around. Her beauty bloom is on a, is on a rose. Sweet rose. Her beauty bloom beneath the Arizona. Sun, days begun, cactus flower in her prime. All right. Her prime. I've shown you right now how you can extend a song and keep going until you get to the point where you can do the outro of the song. You can put your own lyrics in. You can do reiterations, iterations after iterations, more iterations on top of other iterations, all kinds of amazing things. It's incredibly empowering. I have a playlist over here of my finished songs. I've got two of them. One is a disco song and the other one is, and then I'm going to work on Zona Rose for the, um, at some point. Um, Whispers of Sage. Let me go down here. And I'm also still working on, where's my Kawhi? Kawaii, 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 Kawaii. 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 Under the golden sun, where the beaches meet the sky, there's a place so divine when worries go goodbye. The ukulele strums a melody so sweet. In the arms of Kauai, my heart finds its beat. Ha, 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 ha. 
guys what he was gonna do. <laughs> Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh, Winona Judd did so. <laughs> oh, that uh, the song, yes, it does. It does sound a lot like Winona Judd. It does. Um, oh my gosh, let's go back. Let's revisit Zona Rose one more time. Here's Cactus Bloom. <laughs> We're only we're gonna skip Zona to the last. Rose lives free. Actually, we're gonna spirit you untamed, with hair as golden as the endless plains. Footsteps light on the dust she thrives, a mirage and heat to where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides, a solitary bloom in vast open skies. Zona Rose, Sweet Rose, her beauty blooms beneath Arizona skies. Desert queen, heart she roamed once the canyons, leaves the pines. Morning sun, days begun, cactus flower in her prime. Now this is the part I just uh, put in. in Zona Interesting take on it, but morning sun, days begun, cactus flower in her prime. All right, so that's a very interesting way to go with that, but then there's in her prime. Zona Rose, her beauty blooms neath Arizona skies. Desert queen, hearts she roamed once the canyons, leaves the pines. Morning sun, days begun, cactus flower in her prime. All right, so let's take that one. We're going to extend it, add a section, and it's going to be instrumental. And she's going to play for 30 seconds. And we're going to auto generate. See, you have complete power. So now I have an instrumental section in the middle of this, and they can. <laughs> whatever you can do whatever it wants and as it creates this let's go back to yep i believe that this is probably the best choice because bloom in arizona was a little abstract at some point it got because i put six lines in there it kind of got how am i gonna fit these six lines in when I probably should have kept it to the four. But you can't always do that. You can't always, you just can't always get what you want. Did you hear me? You can't always get what you All right, we're gonna start at 138. Yeah. The 
let's see if this one did it right. He's a little rough, if right, little males against Yep, it broke. So when you, when you, let's say we go to Cactus, Cactus Bloom, and we go to Extend Cactus Bloom, and we hit Add Section Instrumental, right? Then it won't do that. But if we put, um, if we put strumming, not stumming, strumming, ah, wrong one, strumming guitar, and then we put, um, ah, I really need to learn how to spell things. Strumming guitar and then guitar solo. It will actually probably and then and then I will put um I will put um I'll just put Zona. And then I'll put Sweet Rose. In brackets. And then I'll put in brackets. Zona. And it should give me the background vocals of Zona. And then the lead vocalist should say Sweet Rose. And you have all of this control. All of this control. It's like ridiculous. All right. There we go. And we're going to add that section and see if we can get it to do better than it did last time. Uh, and it didn't do badly, but these the, these are, they're actually singing and stuff, and I don't want that. I want, and I've noticed that it really has a hard time if it starts a song out with singing and you want instrumentals to happen, it really has issues. It has serious issues. <laughs> I've been trying to get it to do that correctly for a while, and uh, it is a hit and a miss most of the time. So, and while this is, oh, and while this is doing this, we will look here. Yeah, it didn't get a good flow. Yeah, that's true. All right, so it should be done here any second. And um, let me see what other things that I made over. Let's see what is no satisfaction. Ain't no. Well, I used to be down and out. Mm, no. Um, Space Odyssey. Ah, more instrumental. In this digital age. This is my is big song from Sunno that I use a dreamers, lot. Matter of fact, I think I might stars, still use it. Yeah. Actually, this one is very good. In the Havana moonlight, the rhythm starts to sway. The trumpets and the saxophones, they lead us astray. The sound of the congas, the bass, and the piano keys. We dance to the music, we're entranced, we're set free. of 
And then you, you think it's done? It ain't done. Not at all. Stars free, star free. And that is Sano's issue, is that they will stop a song in the middle and go, oh, crap, there's like 30 seconds left. Let's start the song back up again. <laughs> it's the way the algorithm works. All right, so here we go. We're going to skip to one minute and 38 seconds. <laughs> on the rose sweet rose That's a complete, like, instrumental section. All right, the next one. Oh, and it wanted to end the song. Here we go. Okay, so now that we have like kind of the meat of the song and do we go back? The, this is the question. This is where music theory, this is why I do not believe that everybody and their sister is going to be able to do uh, this effectively. They have to know kind of what songs are and how they work and the whole nine yards. Um, so we've got strumming guitar, guitar, Zona, Sweet Rose. It seems like it only sang the Sweet Rose part. Didn't say the Zona part. So do we create a bridge? Yeah, maybe we do. Maybe we create a bridge. Let's see. Let's use some lyrics from the old Zona stuff. Did I not make that into a, hmm. You know what, let's do this. Let's take, let's take this right here. We're going to take this and um, and we will end the song with that. All right, so we're going to extend Arizona's thorn. And... Uh, Verse one reprise, a reprise 
is when you go back to an earlier part of the song to give them the kind of uh, the same feel as the beginning of the song, but at the end, it's like a bookend. So we'll go with that and we will extend. Okay. So that's Thorn. So that was Arizona's Thorn. Now Desert Bloom. <laughs> why I didn't extend uh, Desert Rose because it decided it wanted to end the song, which is fine. All right, so here's Zona Rose Waltz. <laughs> and we will start it at 2 minutes and 11. good one. Now let's do this one. Start at 2 extend one more time oh my goodness that was pretty good let's see one more time let's listen to that Zona Rose lives free 
A spirit untamed With hair as golden as the endless plains Footsteps light on the dust she thrives A mirage and heat to where the brave survives Footsteps light on the dust she thrives. A mirage in heat where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds she drifts and glides. Nope. <laughs> you can always tell. You can really tell. You can. You can. If you listen to a song and you fig figured out the hook and you go to yourself, you say to yourself, oh, my gosh, that is the hook. That's the jam. That's the Terry Lewis, <laughs> the Jimmy Jam and the Terry Lewis. Now, here is uh, Desert Bloom. Ooh, sweet rose. And footsteps slide on the dust she throws. That doesn't bug me. I can't believe it took six tries. Footsteps on the One more. Sweet Footsteps slide. That's it. That was it. That's it right there. Sweet rose. Ooh, 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 sweet rose. Here we go. Uh, Footsteps light on the dust she thrives a mirage in the That's it. That's it right there, y'all. And I present to you Desert Rose, Rose Serenade. Free, a spirit untamed, with hair as golden as the endless plains. Footsteps light on the dust she thrives, a mirage and heat to where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides. A solitary bloom in vast open skies. In Zona Rose, Sweet Rose. her beauty blooms beneath the Arizona skies. Desert queen, heart she roamed once the canyons leaves the pines. Morning sun. Days begun, cactus.
this flower in her prime is on a rose. Sweet rose. Her beauty blooms beneath the Arizona skies. Desert queen, heart she owned once the canyons, leaves the pines. Morning sun, days begun, cactus flower in her prime. a little early. I've still got to finish the song. But it's a pretty good start, isn't it? And it's better than the song we worked on over at Suno, didn't it? Isn't it? Listen to that. Oh, that's why I didn't do the Zona, because it's got a bracket in there. Footsteps like she thrives a mirage in the heat where the brave survives through tumbleweeds. She drifts and glides, a solitary bloom in vast open skies. And then we should uh, finish the song with the chorus twice. How about that? And by putting the chorus in there twice, it will probably make it speed it up. So it would be, it'll probably speed it up and say, in Zona Rose, uh, in Zona Rose, uh, oh, let's try it, let's try it. We're going to take the chorus and we're going to take this part right here. We're going to copy it. And we're going to extend it. Add an outro. And then we'll do this. Paste. And then I will change this bracket so that it does the zona correctly. And then copy this again, copy and paste. Gonna cut that. And this is me playing around with the lyrics, playing around with the guitar outro. There we go. And there. And now we are going to extend that. Custom outro extend and I hope I did the right one. <laughs> Footsteps lie on the dust. She thrives a mirage in the heat where the brave survives through tumbleweeds. She drifts and glides a solitary. This should be the full song. Zona the Rose lives free. Uh, when it makes these 
uh, Spirit last untamed. Year. And we will figure out uh, whether or not that's actually good looking. Okay, here we go. And we will go to two minutes and 40 Other zone of blue, uh, the desert. In zone of rose, a beauty from each pink bed, hair and a sweet score and ever inside. Sweet rose, sweet rose. In zone of rose, then the mist in a set, tear as pleasant as southern. Steps light on the dust, she thrives. A mirage and heat to where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides. A solitary bloom in vast open skies. All right, we will see if this actually turns out a little better. In zone of rose, Sweet rose. her beauty blooms. Neither All right, let's listen back again to... So, the whole song sounds a little like this. Zona Rose lives free, the spirit untamed, with 
hair is golden as the end. I guess we'll call it Beauty of Arizona. The steps light on the dust she thrives. A Maybe we'll just call it Zona. To where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides. A solitary bloom in vast open skies. Zona Rose, Sweet Rose, her beauty blooms beneath Arizona skies. Desert queen, heart she roamed once the canyons, leaves the pines. Morning sun, days begun, cactus flower in her prime. In Zona Arizona. If you are interested in listening to that song anymore, <laughs> if you are interested in listening to that song anymore, I have literally just dropped in the chat a big old link to that song over at Udio. Uh, I know it came and and you noticed. I just kind of naturally started it. We just we we kind of went through it. I used a lot of techniques, not just not just uh, letting it generate, but I let it generate and start out that way, and then I started taking some of its own lyrics and re-populating uh, them so that I could contain the wildness of the AI, and I could also contain control. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much a deep dive into Udio, U-D-I-O. My name's Ikel O'Hara, and this has been the Future Fiction Factory. I have been thinking about starting a new channel called the Future, uh, the the Future Music Factory, because I'm so excited about this right now. But it, this is a right now thing. I'm very excited right now, so I'm trying my best to be very. Oh. Hey, I've been watching a Hallmark Channel movie about a woman trying to sign a band while respecting the integrity of their sound. Yes. Hey, Miss Swift, where'd you go? I was going to make you a song. Uh, where is this? Uh, what is this other person saying? Uh, Oryx. Oryx. Uh, how do you fast forward on Udio? Is there a button on the player, the song? is sounding great yeah um 
Hey, Rose, do you mind if I publish this one? I should make this one my first one to publish. And if that's the case, let's show everybody how to do that. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to make this one my first published song. Beauty of Arizona. We're going to change that, edit it to uh, uh, The Ballad of Zona Rose. The Ballad of Zona Rose. And we are going to, and that's the edit. It's been extended. All of that stuff's there. And this song is done. And now all we have to do, I think, is hit publish. And now it's published. It's one of my published songs. And since it's finished, I'm going to add it to a playlist. Um, oh. Oh, that's new. I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. Um, let's go back. Um, what, am I, what am I doing here? Share to social media. I guess I could show it, share it to social media. Um, but what I want to do right now is... Um, move it into my yeah there we go into finished songs and now it's in finished songs and i have three finished songs delta curves that but that but that big old but rhythmic inferno And the Ballad of Zona Rose. Zona Rose lives free, the spirit untamed, with hair as golden as the endless plains. Footsteps I hope your hair is golden. The dust she <laughs> if it isn't, I apologize. The to where the brave survives. Through tumbleweeds, she drifts and glides. And uh, there we go. And uh, I've got three songs right now. I've got a ton over in Suno. I really am, really, I love, I love creating songs. And now with this new, it, I'm really, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you any of that. Uh, here, right here, finished songs, right here. I have a finished songs and, oh, did I not show you publishing? Uh, let's publish another song. Um... I'm going to publish Rhythmic Inferno. So say we're in Rhythmic Inferno and right up here is where you hit publish and then it automatically publishes. And then it says more from this creator. So I'm going to put these two right here. And now I have a complete and full thing going on right here. And uh, people can see my songs on Udio. All right, everyone. My name is Ikello Herod. This has been the Future Fiction Factory. I hope that you have all enjoyed this. Please like this video. If you really liked what I just did, like this video. Let me go ahead on and uh, check in on my people real quick here. Uh, serendipity. Uh, let's see. Uh, Miss Swift. Serendipity. Miss Swift. Uh, reminds me of CNC Music Factory. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. See? I've been here, like I said, I was watching movies and doing some research in the background. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Uh, sadly, we can't download videos of songs right now. Huh. Could you get the audio, though? Could get the audio, though. Good, good, good. Have a, yep. All right, everybody. Hey, Zona, enjoy your song, honey. You are just so famous nowadays. 
And Miss Swift, if you want, next week we'll get you one uh, rolled up too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ekel O'Hare, and I hope that you have all had yourselves one dandy of a time. I have had a pretty good, pretty fun time uh, playing around with this program and all of the intricacies of it, and I hope that you did too. All right, talk to you soon. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.